Well, August 14th, 2003, the lights went out in the Northeast. It left 50 million people in the dark at a standstill waiting for the power to go back on. Yeah, subways came to a stop. Commuters were left stranded. And Times Square was static. Fox Rise Linda Schmidt has taken a look back at how the city that never sleeps was forced to stop. It was shortly after four o'clock in the afternoon on a hot August day when in an instant the city was powerless. I was just working and I was seeing patients and next thing I know the computer goes down, the lights go off, we're like on the 16th floor. Millions spilled out onto the sidewalks and streets trying to get home. The blackout lasting about 30 hours in New York, shutting down the subway system, gas pumps, traffic lights, elevators and more. The fear was that it was terrorism. First inclination is a terrorist attack. After September 11th, I think everyone thinks about that. I was anchoring on that day. We just want to reiterate, no evidence of terrorism here. Of course, when something like this originally happens as a result of 9-11, that's where our minds usually tend to go. The FDNY rescuing many who got stuck in elevators. <laughs> that night, the city was plunged into darkness. The only lights were headlights from cars and buses. People walking home using flashlights if they were lucky enough to have them. The moon is still the only light in town, and as we suffer through this blackout. But then later that night, power slowly got restored. That area of Midtown now has power. And it took up to four days for the power to get restored in some areas. Power has not yet been restored either. You can see as I come over to the left here, up uh, toward the top end of your screen, you'll see sections of Washington Heights, Harlem, Spanish Harlem. Mayor Mike Bloomberg applauded first responders. EMS responded to 5,000 calls, 600 more than their record for a 24-hour period. There were over 800 elevator rescues performed by both police and fire. 10,000 police officers patrolled our streets, directing traffic, preventing crime, and helping those in need. They responded to 80,000 911 calls. The blackout hit eight states and Canada, affecting more than 50 million people. The cause? An overloaded power line hit a tree branch in Ohio, and the utility company did not detect it. Within minutes, it created one of the largest blackouts in history. Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News.